first practice. We've had a really good off-season program. Um, we really like the players' effort. I saw a lot of improvement in players leading up to today. I think there's a lot of anxiety anytime you have a lot of new players that have new roles uh, when you have a first practice. But I was pleased with the effort, and um, obviously it tells you where you are and some of the things you need to work on to get where you want to be. Um, you know, when we have Easter fall into our spring practice uh, calendar, uh, we don't practice Saturday before Easter so players can go home and so we move that practice to one day uh, ahead and it just happened to be this year that uh, it was before, right before spring break. This has happened on several occasions before. Um, I think it, it really does more good than harm because players really understand a lot about what they need to do to get through uh, practice, the kind of condition they need to be in and maybe they do a little bit better um, while they're away um, but you know we got some guys that are probably going to miss most of the spring maybe all the spring Jonathan Allen who had soldier, so shoulder surgery uh, Cam Robinson who had so shoulder surgery Eddie Jackson who um, had a, a leg issue Raheem Falcons who had a leg issue uh, Dakota Ball who uh, had a foot issue and Sean Jennings came here with an injury that he got in high school that he's still not healed from. So those guys will have a difficult time to um, probably have a chance to participate at all this spring. Um, we had eight early enrollees uh, that you know all are getting in, sort of inundated into what is expected of them and what the standard is around here and um, you know we've got three new assistant coaches two of them have been here before so they pretty much know what to expect and um, you know we, we talked before about hiring another offensive line coach and Mario coaching the tackles and tight ends and Burton Burns is you know sort of taking over the special teams and Bobby's going to be a special assistant to me and um, we're, we're excited about how all those people can contribute at new positions. So um, we got a lot of lot, lot of lot of lot of people to replace. Um, it's what makes it fun when you lose 25 percent of your team every year. And it's new new opportunity for a lot of people, new roles that other people have to, you know, sort of take on the team. So. One thing was pretty obvious today that we have some good players, but we also have a long way to go to get where we want to be. So, questions? Let's start here with Aaron. Nick, I noticed that Bo dropped some weight. I wonder, was that done given like his injury history back through high school and last year? Or was it you just felt he played a little better lighter? No, you're talking about Bo Scarborough. Um, Look, you know, we give everybody a, a, a muscle mass, body fat, hydration, functional movement test. And, um, you know, we, we, we try to work hard with Miss Amy to come up with what's the most efficient, efficient effective weight for a guy. Uh, and, you know, we see how this guy's moving, how he's running relative to how he used to run. And, you know, sometimes these guys just keep lifting weights and they just get bigger and bigger and bigger. And uh, I think at certain positions, especially skilled positions, that's not always advantageous. And uh, we felt Bo's efficient weight was, it had nothing to do with injuries. It just, you know, how can you play the best? Far side with John. Nick, how did uh, Brent Key first kind of come on to your radar? And what was it about him that, you know, appealed to you to want to kind of shift around some different roles to bring him on board? Well, we, we, we interviewed uh, Brent when we hired an offensive line coach three years ago. I was very impressed with him um, and thought that he would be somebody that we would always want to hire if uh, we had the opportunity to. And um, we felt like this, this was a, a good fit for him. And he's obviously had a lot of experience doing it. And he's got a lot of energy and enthusiasm and has a great reputation. So, uh, and we've been pleased so far with the progress we've made with him. Right in, uh, Michael Costarante. Just wanted to, uh, Blake Barnett, how has he matured in the year he's been here? And uh, just his time as quarterback, what's he bring to the table? Well, you know, it's hard to answer that question after just one practice. Um, it'll be interesting to see how all these young guys, we've got three young quarterbacks that um, all are going to have an opportunity this spring to compete at a position that maturity is a very important factor. And, um, you know, Blake had some ups and downs last year with some injuries and illness and things that 
probably held him back a little bit. So we're all kind of anxious to see how he matures and uh, how he does this spring as well. Right here in the middle with Alex. Two part. Uh, can you update us on Tony Brown's status? You said he was still fa spa facing some suspensions. Yeah, he is facing some suspensions, and uh, when I get the final data on that, I'll definitely let you know. Okay. Second question. I kind of want to ask: after losing so many, you know, players that you counted on as team leaders, you know, in the locker room, how do you kind of approach this off season? You know to kind of fight some complacency that have been issues in the past? Well, you know, I, I think we, we want everybody um, that has a get it done type of attitude. Uh, and I think that everybody not only has to have a get it done type of attitude, they also have to have take ownership for people who aren't getting it done because they're unable to do things to the standard that we want to do it. Uh, and I do think this is a work in progress. And I do think that uh, players have to accept roles and, you know, so far, uh, these are things that need to continue to develop. I think this is a kind of a work in progress. This is not something that just happens. Um, team chemistry last year happened over time, and I think you know we'll see how this team develops over time.